hello everyone welcome to Dada's food crave kitchen if you're new here i welcome you if you're a returning subscriber i also welcome you guys in case you missed the title of the video yes i said all natural this sauce was made from scratch this is not your typical spaghetti i put my own little twist to it this is one of the meal that you will make for your whole family and they will definitely appreciate you for making it because of it is burst with flavor this is not your typical like i said if you want to see how it's done keep on watching and without any further ado let's get cooking this team let's get started with the video as you can see i have here my red sweet bell peppers all right i have two of them and i split them in half then i also have here one white onion feel free to use half of the white onion then i also have here red onion also feel free to use half of the red onion but for me i'm using the whole red onion and the whole white onion then i also have here my fresh tomato and i'm using the plump tomato which is which tend to be on the sweet side all right free for feel free to use any tomato of your choice i rather use the plump tomato like i said it's more creamier and it's on the sweet side all right you want to use as much fresh tomato as you want all right we are going to be making our own homemade sauce not the typical sauce that you buy from the grocery store that is already in the jar si sitting on the shelf you know what i mean at least you know what you put in it there's no preservative in the sauce it's all homemade and fresh next i'm going to add lots of garlic you already know i like a lot of garlic in my food if you're the type that don't like a lot of garlic you can go ahead and put a little bit of garlic because i just know that garlic is very healthy for you and it also works really well with your metabolism all right it tend to slow it down so i went ahead and <laughs> also add my scotch bonnet pepper it wouldn't be me if i don't add anything spicy in my food all right that's your choice i went ahead and sprinkle in some salt then next i'm going to go ahead and sprinkle in some black pepper as well like i said if you don't eat spicy food you don't necessarily have to put any scotch bonnet pepper or habanero pepper in this recipe this was my choice to do that all right so next i'm going to go ahead and add some dry rosemary all right if you don't have rosemary as well that is perfectly fine then i'm going to go ahead and sprinkle in some olive oil extra virgin olive oil you can give it a good mix like so but i just sprinkled the olive oil i'm going to go ahead my oven was already preheated to 450 degrees i'm going to go ahead and roast this in the oven for like 20 to 25 minutes come back check on it look how beautiful everything looks guys yes you're not going to tell me that you're not going to make your own homemade sauce for your next spaghetti recipe yes i put my own little twist to it and i'm telling you follow this recipe you will always make your spaghetti this way all right i let it cool down a little bit and then i went ahead and add it in my blender and blend it until it is blended really smooth now i'm going to go ahead and add in my ground beef you can go ahead and you mix this recipe with grounded chicken grounded turkey if you don't eat beef all right so i use my potato masher to go ahead and you know break up the ground beef like so you can use a fork you can use a spoon to break up the um ground beef like i said again feel free to use ground chicken or ground turkey in this recipe as long as my goal is to for you to follow the recipe you should be good to go yes like i said again this is not your typical spaghetti this spaghetti is this is one of those meals that your whole family will appreciate you for making it just because it is burst with a lot of flavor yes so don't try this at home 
all right don't try this at home if you're not comfortable the way i'm slicing the onion you can use a chopping board all right so i went ahead and sliced one medium sized onion like i said yes this spaghetti is gonna be burst with a lot of flavor this is not those spaghetti meal where you just brown the beef and put the sauce on top no we're not going that route not in dada's kitchen no 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 we're not doing that so i went ahead and slice in my onion then i went ahead and slice in another bell pepper all right I'm going to slice in the bell pepper like i said use a chopping board if you're not comfortable cutting your peppers or your onions the way i'm doing it at the on the video yes i want you to follow my recipe but i don't want you to do exactly as i do in my kitchen i'm very comfortable with the knife that is why i'm doing it this way all right so i went ahead and slice in my onions and my bell pepper now we're going to go ahead and season this ground beef and brown it until it looks very beautiful and tasty and all this seasoning will go inside the ground beef as you can see i'm using my my adobo seasoning which i like to use in my recipe you can use any seasoning of your choice yes then i went ahead and add my um paste basil yes you can use dry basil if you want if you don't have the pasted one all right you can use dry basil so i went ahead and also add my smoked paprika yes we are going to season this ground beef like i said we're not doing those spaghetti recipe where you just brown the beef and put slap in the sauce and call it a day no 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 not in dada's kitchen in dada's kitchen we do flavor we 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 talk about flavor we're going to be cooking food that tastes really really good and you know what's the use eating food that's that's not tasty what what <laughs> is it just to fill your stomach or is it just to just enjoy the food and be like yes yes i appreciate whoever made this food i appreciate it you know your family would definitely appreciate it whoever you make the food for but anyway, so I went ahead and mixed everything until it's a, it's combined. I'm going to cover the pot pot and ground the beef, uh, brown it in, um, let it brown up a little bit. Came back, check on it, and this is how it looks like. Yes, guys, came back, check on it. Look how beautiful it look already. Ah, you can actually take a scoop of that ground beef and just, mm, and if you don't be careful, you might finish everything. <laughs> So I came back and check on it and this is how everything looks like. I'm going to cook it a little bit more and then we're going to move on to this recipe. Yes, guys, keep on watching. If you like this video so far, give this video a big like. That's the least you can do for your chef Dada. Yes, just like this video and leave your comment if you have any question. And if you're new here, I hope you will consider subscribing to my channel. And don't forget that post notification bell so that you stay updated in any new video that I uploaded. I'm going to go ahead and cover the pot and cook it some more. All right, now let's check it again and see how everything turned out. Now the ground beef is cooked to perfection. The onions, the bell pepper, and all those seasoning all marinated and soaked into that ground beef. Yes, you are talking about flavor. Yes, flavor, 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 flavor. Yes, this is not your typical spaghetti, guys. Yes, now let's pour in our homemade marinated sauce. Yes, yes, this is not the one you buy on the shelf in your grocery store. Like I said, yes, if I'm on the lazy side, I will go ahead and do it um by the the one that is already on the shelf in the grocery store i would do it but i'd rather do my own homemade natural sauce like i said again if i'm on the lazy side yes i'm guilty i do buy the one from the store i'm not saying don't do it but when you make your own everything natural that's the best yes and then in that case i have a lot of sauce because i like my spaghetti really really saucy yes really really saucy especially if you sprinkle in some parmesan cheese Ugh, i'm telling you so i went ahead and add one small can of tomato sauce all right don't mind the color it's on the orange side but once that tomato cook it's gonna bring its own color up so keep on watching i just wanted to show you guys the two different types of basil that you can add in this recipe you have the dry one and you also have the paste one they also have the fresh basil as well which is <laughs> even the best all right the aroma in your kitchen will be like to die for 
I went ahead and add some dry basil and then add more smoked paprika. I'm going to go ahead and give it a good mix, cover the pot and cook it. Mind you, the onions and the bell pepper has its own water. So you want to make sure you cook this sauce down a little bit until some of the oil comes up. All right, then I'm going to, going to go ahead and add my frozen mixed vegetable yes you want to add some vegetables in your diet guys yes you want to add some vegetables in your diet but if you're the type that don't like frozen vegetables you can opt this part out yes like i said this is not once again i repeat not your typical spaghetti yes this spaghetti is not the one that you just brown the beef and slap the sauce on that you just buy from the store no we're cooking this food and it's gonna be really tasty this spaghetti it's going to be really tasty. Not your typical spaghetti. I don't know how many times I have to repeat myself. So I went ahead and covered the pot. Let it cook on a low medium heat. Came back. Now I'm going to cook my pasta. Once the water came to boil, I added my salt. Now I'm going to season it as well with some extra virgin olive oil so that the pasta doesn't stick together. Now I'm going to cook my pasta al dente. If you don't know what al dente means, it's, it's not too completely cooked, too extra soft, and it's not also, um, it's not too soft and it's not too hard. It's on the middle side. Mind you, I'm going to add the pasta into my spaghetti sauce. Some people like to cook their spaghetti, um, like dish the spaghetti out separately in a plate and then dish the sauce on top but I don't like to cook my spaghetti that way I like to add my spaghetti inside the sauce so that the spaghetti will be really saucy so now as you can see after cooking the sauce for a while the sauce is already um, cooked down more a little bit and some of the oil came up yes our homemade pasta sauce guys yes now let's go ahead and add our pasta into the sauce like i said some people don't like to do it this way this is how i like making my my spaghetti i add this pa the pasta into the sauce because i like my spaghetti really really saucy that's why i said it's better to make your own homemade pasta sauce then you have a lot of sauce because mind you if you buy the jar from the store and the jars they're not that big how much jars are you gonna buy to make your spaghetti you know especially if you like it saucy you know, you're probably going to buy like two or three or four jars. But when you buy your own fresh tomato, fresh bell peppers and all that stuff and make your own homemade, you rest assured going to have a lot of sauce. You can actually make some and freeze some for later use. So I went ahead and add my spaghetti, my pasta into the sauce. I'm going to go ahead and gently fold it over until everything marinated really really well into the sauce mind you like i said i cooked the spaghetti the pasta al dente not too soft not too um uh, uncooked it's on the al dente side all right so i'm gonna go ahead and mix it up like so at this point i turn my stove off guys the stove was off that's why i said always watch this video to the end so that you have you can hear me um explain every key ingredients and every detail into a video so that you know exactly what i did like i said again this was a very important um step that you wanna you don't wanna miss like i said i turned the stove off all right so i'm just gonna fold it gently and let everything mix and marinate really good then i'm going to go ahead and cover the pot and let the pasta sit really really well into the sauce like i said again some people don't like doing it this way they rather dish out the pasta and then put the sauce on top but for me this is how i always do it mix everything really really well let it be really saucy did i say add some parmesan cheese on top so I'm going to go ahead and cover it for five minutes. Let it sit really well, really well and settle. Now I'm going to do the magic, which I always do for you guys, which is dish it out for you guys. Like I said again, came back five minutes later. Check on it. The pasta is already settled into the sauce. Look at that, guys. Guys, if you are enjoying watching this video so far, give this video a big thumbs up. That's the least you can do for me. Leave your comment down below. And if you're new, I hope you will consider subscribing to my channel. And don't forget that post notification bell so that you stay updated in any new video that I uploaded. 
if you start making your pasta this way i'm telling you there's no turning back this is the only way you're going to be cooking your pasta as from now on yes now i'm going to go ahead and dish it out like so for you guys and give this video a big like like i said and if you're new i hope you will consider subscribing to my channel what's the use eating food that's less flavorful all right you want to eat the food you want to you want to know that you're eating something really really tasty and i'm telling you whoever you make this recipe or any recipe for that matter from my channel it's all about flavor guys it's all about flavor yes so i'm gonna go ahead and dish it up for you guys like i said after you dish it out you can you know sprinkle in some parmesan cheese on top and i'm telling you that's the best and guys, I know I have not been posting frequently like I'm like I should, but I'm always here to make time for you guys to make sure at least I post a video. You know, I'm been very very busy with my full time job, and also I'm in the process of moving. But I'll keep you guys all updated. I just thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you all in my next video. Bye bye.